the point here this is one of the area from saint mary's high school mugri art today we will learn about standard nine science chapter number one matter in a surrounding so first of all the first question will arise what is called matter so matter is thing from which the whole thing which is nearby to us or we are surrounded by the things all the things in the universe are made up of matter so what will be the characteristics of matter so matter can occupy space have volume now the next thing on the matter will be the characteristics of particles of matter so first of all matter is made up of particles matter is made up of particles now we will see the properties of particles physical then the second one is particle of matter have space between them and the third one
the molecules or the particles of sugar will melt and adjust themselves in the space between water molecule and due to the reason will find the water taste as sweet the third property is the particles of matter are continuously moving it means they possess a kinetic energy as we increase the temperature the speed of the particle also increases have you ever observed that the food prepared in the kitchen by your mother when the food is prepared at the time we are getting the good smell of it mom if your mother is preparing food in the kitchen you are feeling the smell or you are smelling the food in the first mix in the living room but some food taken out from the fridge and kept outside will you able to smell that much which is the hot food no why because when we increase the temperature the particles of matter also move speed so these are the three physical properties for particles of matter first one is particle of matter can Second one is particle of matter and space between them. Third one, particle of matter are continuously moving. Now, the next step will move is the types of matter. So, which are the types of matter? So, there are about five types of matter. The first one we all know about it, that is solid. Second one also that is liquid, and third one also is known to us that is gas. But the other two that is plasma. And the next one is those.
sponge is sturdy because when we compress it due to the air particles in sponge when we compress it the air particles will move away from the sponge so sponge will thrust in your hand but when you leave again the air particles are blown in the sponge and sponge will regain its shape so sponge is a sponge then the next thing they are rigid they cannot be clean they are rigid then the next example we can give in solid state is of rubber band by stretch by applying the force by stretching the rubber band it will change its shape but as soon as you will lose that force or you will remove that force the rubber band will be again retain its original shape as you apply the more force to it it will not change its shape but it will break it down broken down into different pieces so again it proves that solid state has fixed shape and volume so for today this is enough so from first what we have seen we have seen matter matter means whatever things around us all are made up of matter it gains matter as shape size volume etc then we have seen particles of matter particles of matter have three physical characteristics the first one they are moving continuously then in second we have seen that they attract each other and third one they have boundaries then the next one is solid state we have seen about the types of states of matter the five types solid liquid gas plasma and those are in condensation but from apart this part we will see only three because the two plasma and those are in we see in the higher classes so from that particular three parts or three types of states of matter we have seen solid state that is fixed shape and volume it has distinct boundaries they are highly incompressible and they are rigid so okay uh, in the uh, next video we will see about the other two states that is liquid and gases till then goodbye take care god bless